Hello guys. Naka-face mask tayo ngayon, no? <laughs> Siyempre, dahil ngayon dito sa China, may kumakalat na naman na virus. Kaya, ingat-ingat na lang konti. Alam mo naman, mahirap magkasakit. At virus pa talaga. <laughs> Kaya guys, papakita ko sa inyo yung mga dapat gawin. Lapad dyan sa Pilipinas, may nabalitaan na na may nakarating na na may dalang coronavirus sa Cebu kaya papakita ko sa inyo guys yung mga dapat gawin ha okay sige guys coronaviruses are a large family of viruses to which MERS COV belongs and may cause a range of illnesses to humans and animals from the common cold to severe acute respiratory infection the means of transmission is not yet fully understood but some evidence indicate the following. Droplets from the patient during sneezing or coughing. Touching the patient's stuff or services and objects contaminated with the virus. Direct contact with the infected person. The possibility of transmission from infected animals. The main signs and symptoms for corona infection are fever, cough, sore throat, shortness of breath, and in some cases, diarrhea and vomiting. Some cases with low immunity may develop renal or respiratory failure and even death. Patients are provided with the support of treatment based on the patient's clinical condition, which might include antipyretics, fluids, oxygen, antibiotics, and others vaccine is in the research phase so far. For your protection, you should follow this advice. Wash your hands well and continually with water and soap or with other disinfectants, especially after coughing, sneezing, and using toilets. Use a handkerchief when coughing or sneezing and cover your mouth and nose with it. Then get rid of the handkerchief in a wastebasket. Try as much as possible to avoid touching the eyes, nose, and mouth. Put on face masks if you're sick, visiting sick patients, or when traveling to crowded places. Keep performing the other hygienic habits such as balanced diet and physical activity and sleep well. Wash vegetables and fruits well before consuming. Avoid as much as possible contact with infected people or using their personal belongings. Cook meat thoroughly and boil milk well, especially camel's one. People infected with diabetes, renal failure, chronic lung disease, and immunodeficiency should avoid contact with camels. Camel farm and slaughterhouse workers should have facial protection and frequent hand washing after touching animals, especially calves. Elderly patients with chronic diseases or those who are in close contact with camels are urged to visit the nearest health center immediately if they develop symptoms of acute respiratory infection.